Hey stars, it's your girl Miss Hollywood and I was recently asked how I create healthy boundaries in every aspect of my life. And I must say for me, the answer came quite quickly. So let's talk really quickly about establishing healthy boundaries that you must stick to. Okay, so we all need to set limits for ourselves in order to protect our well-being and maintain healthy relationships. Healthy boundaries mean knowing when to say no, maybe even how no, and when to set limits that respect our needs and values. Here are a few tips to help you set and keep healthy boundaries. Respect yourself and your values. Communicate your limits clearly and respectfully. Make sure your boundaries are reasonable and realistic. Now let's unpack this particular one. I'm a strong believer in the fact that yes, everyone is different and that's great. But sometimes people will try to make it seem like you're difficult, unrealistic, and unreasonable because they can't take advantage of you. So keep that in mind because honey, there are professional schemers, liars, and manipulative people everywhere and you need to recognize them and get as far away from them as you can. In some cases, they'll even remove themselves. So we're grateful for those that remove themselves. Okay, now don't be afraid to remind people of your boundaries when needed. Many people will claim your standards are too high and that they are tired of trying to live up to your standards. <laughs> yes, that's ridiculous as hell, but people really think this way. Can them. You aren't for everyone and everyone isn't for you. And some people aren't even ready for you. Protect yourself because if you don't, you will regret it. You definitely will regret it. And last but definitely not least, this is for the people that are not afraid to speak the truth. That family over everything is overrated. Many know but are afraid to say that family will do you worse than someone on the street. You will be labeled the villain for protecting your peace by any means necessary. And that includes but is not limited to complete separation. Like I will separate myself quick, okay? Sometimes a boundary of separation is healthy for everyone. And when I say that, trust me, I stand on that. It is none of your business who thinks you're too much. Be grateful for the people who love you and enjoy you exactly how you are. Listen, guys, thank you for joining me in this discussion, and I hope these tips help you set and maintain healthy boundaries in your life. If you need to reread it, honey, reread it as many times as you need to. This is no slight to anybody. This is no indirect to anybody. It's just the facts, and a lot of people don't like the facts. Not my problem, and it ain't my damn business. Hollywood.